okay I'm going to read uh, from the Good News Bible, Isaiah 49, verse 22. It says, The Sovereign Lord says to His people, I will signal to the nations and they will bring your children home. Kings will be like fathers to you. Queens will be like mothers. They will bow low before you and honor you. They will humbly show their respect for you. Uh, then you will know that I am the Lord. No one who waits for my help will be disappointed. Can you put your uh, phones on mute, please? Uh, I don't know whose phone is that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <coughs> then you will know that I am the Lord. No one who waits for my help will be disappointed. Uh, in verse 24, it says, can you take away a soldier's loot? Can you rescue the prisoners of a tyrant? The Lord replies, That is just what is going to happen. The soldier's prisoners will be taken away. And the tyrant's loot will be seized. I will fight against whoever fights you. And I will rescue your children. Hallelujah. This is uh, Isaiah uh, in, in, in the Lord is declaring uh, through Isaiah uh, that the Lord is going to rescue uh, his children, his people. Okay, that is the, the nation of Israel. Okay, from the, the time of exile, they're going to be brought back. But I just uh, 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 want to dig a little deeper because we know that in all things, the Lord gives us promises and that we can hold on to and all the promises of God are yes and they are an amen when we say an amen hallelujah we say an amen to that hallelujah okay amen. so uh, the Lord says to his people I will signal to the nations and they will bring your children home and uh, today I just uh, 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 was being led to, uh, to share this, okay, that there are struggles in our relationships. Uh, some of you struggle with your parents, some of you struggle with your spouse, some of you struggle with your children. Uh, there are struggles that are happening. And uh, the Lord is saying, I will bring them back home. That means it, it is talking about deliverance and restoration back to your family. Hallelujah. And it is also talking about salvation. Okay, now look at this. Uh, in verse number 24, it says, Can you take away a soldier's loot? Okay. Can you take away a soldier's loot? Or in the King James, it says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered that means there are people who have lived a life of sin and depravity okay and they have been held lawfully captive because of their past life okay and they have been held by a mighty force okay and the it has been held because because it's a legal captivity okay and the Lord is saying can shall the prey be taken from the mighty that means there is a mighty oppression that is upon uh, some people in our families okay you can see uh, some uh, your uh, it's it could be your father it could be your mother it could be your father-in-law your mother-in-law uh, your son or your daughter uh, your husband or your wife okay uh, there is uh, you know your your brother or your sister there is trouble okay for them that has come because of loose lifestyle okay number one number two it could be that your children have gone away because the the, the parents have not taken care of the children okay and the children have gone astray the children are not walking according to the ways of the Lord okay and the uh, the the um, the legal burden falls upon the upon the parents okay that they have not brought the children according to the ways of the Lord 
uh, uh, the, the the cases against them okay in all such cases the lord is saying can these people still be delivered okay from the mighty clutches of the mighty okay can the soldiers loot be taken away now this is what the sovereign lord says verse 25 the lord replies that is just what is going to happen hallelujah the soldiers prisoners will be taken away and the tyrants loot will be seized i will fight against whoever fights you hallelujah in uh, in the king james i will read this also from the king james it says but thus say of the lord even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for i will contend with him that contended with thee hallelujah and i will save thy children hallelujah hallelujah and in, in good news it says i will rescue your children so uh, is god troubling you in your family okay uh, is uh, uh, are you looking at and and seeing you know uh, verses that the devil picks up and tells you that whatsoever a man so so shall ye reap okay these are verses in the bible and yes it is true that whatever a man sows so shall you reap but you see uh, when you repent of your sin and when you turn to the lord he is merciful and turns your season of captivity hallelujah into liberty not because you deserve it not because you sowed the right seeds in the past season but because you cried out unto the lord for mercy and your debt was cancelled you went to the king and you said you you made a mistake it's like in that parable hallelujah of that servant who had was under tremendous debt and he cried to the king and the king was merciful and the the, the merciful king delivered him from all the debt hallelujah the lord is delivering hallelujah the parents the children the brothers the sisters hallelujah the husbands the wife hallelujah whatever your consequence is that you duly deserve to receive but god is saying i'm merciful what you deserve what punishment do you deserve what captivity you deserve what captivity your children deserve what captivity your husband or your your wife deserves hallelujah that is not what i will bring to pass because i'm a merciful god hallelujah if you turn towards me with humble a hearts and a contrite heart and ask god to set you free god is going to set your captivity free your children's captivity free hallelujah if your children have gone away from the lord if they have been rebellious if they have gone into all kinds of stuff that are unclean uh, and and it is detestable in the eyes of the lord still god is saying if you repent and if you turn god will turn their hearts and bring the prodigal back home hallelujah if no matter whether that prodigal is your husband no matter whether your pro- prodigal is your father or your mother or your father in law or your or mother in law hallelujah i'm telling you your prodigal is returning because not because you deserve it not because the prodigal deserves it but it is because the father in heaven is merciful hallelujah hallelujah and he is changing the season hallelujah and bringing an impact and this is the season of changing of captivity hallelujah for what the devil has meant for harm he will turn it around for your good in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah acts 16 verse 31 hallelujah says believe in the lord jesus and you will be saved you and your household hallelujah you and your household not because you have been righteous in the past but because you turn to the lord you cry out unto the lord you will be saved and not just you your prodigal son who has wasted away in depravity in sin in lasciviousness in all kinds of perversion god is returning your children back home if you humbly pray hallelujah god is returning your children back home hallelujah in the name of jesus and this is a season of liberty hallelujah 
This is the season of breaking the power of the mighty. Hallelujah. And the Lord is binding the strong man, that mighty man. Hallelujah. Who has bound your children, your spouse, your business, your finance. Hallelujah. Your, your, your household in the name of Jesus. It is being broken in Jesus' name. That thing which has blind, blinded your, your, your spouse. Hallelujah. Or your children. Hallelujah. And that blindness is coming off. In the name of Jesus, I declare it right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Over your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Household salvation, I declare in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Let boldness arise for you to stand as a witness for Jesus Christ. You will be a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ in your family. Hallelujah. God is giving you boldness. Rise and be healed. Rise and be used for the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name. Amen.